Hello, it's me, Shadow Mew, and I have a real quick thing to do right now while we're uh, going around, and that's these white tulips give you diamond nuggets, which are used for this purplicious pet right here. And if I can get enough of these, I will be effectively immortal for the rest of the series. So we're just gonna play quick work on that, and if you do like the series, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. But I don't think we're gonna have any issues in the near future anytime soon after I'm done with this. So. We're going to be right back after I pick up enough of these nuggies. Because I'm going to go on an adventure into a dangerous place where we're definitely going to be needing it. Because if I don't have it, I'm probably going to die. Very fast. And that would be sad. Alright, so I have managed to get almost nine stacks of diamond nuggets, which is an insane amount. And what we're doing today is we're going into the Twilight Forest. I think I have this set up right. I just think the dirt might be the issue, maybe, so we're just gonna... Hmm. Maybe... Coarse sandy dirt. Maybe it needs to be solid bottom. Oh, yep, solid bottom. Alright, so we can go into... Ooh, taking those. Uh, we can go into the Twilight Forest, which we will be doing. Because we need to go get a Raven Feather, and I think only mobs... <clears throat> in the Twilight Forest can drop such a thing. Uh, now, whether or not it is... Ah! Um... Okay, I spawned 400 blocks away from home. That's only a minor problem. Okay, we just need to open up the mini-map, scroll down, right-click, right, here we go. Home portal. There we go. And now to go do some exploration up in this woods. That is a chunk of netherrack. Huh. I should have grabbed another pickaxe while I was here. Oh, hey, glowstone still gives glowstone. Neat. What do you make? Slabs. You know, I shouldn't really be surprised by that. Yeah, I kind of expected that one to happen. Hmm. Grab up the holy stone. You give bones. That's weird. But... Is not uh, uh ooh right click an area breaks crops uh that sounds awesome I'm gonna take that for sure uh, but yes uh, currently I have infinite life regeneration because of the purplicious cow pet that I was getting while doing random shuffling and I just had to you know share the fact that we managed to get a recipe for the ooh funny back here get back here I need to know what you drop get back here. Ah! You win this round. Mostly because I am lazy. However, we're gonna head back. I need to grab some more pickaxes. And then we'll be good to go, I think, exploring around. I might be able to kill the Naga. I'm not sure. So, one moment. Alright, so I stopped back. I hope we get the pickaxe and everything. And I found the Illuminati pet. Which is incredibly broken. Because it has the ability to spawn quite literally anything. It just needs emerald nuggets, which I very much cannot make. Violently cannot make. But if we right click on it, it can make us any item. It's on cooldown still. Okay. Fair enough. We'll just hold on to him then. I think that is almost everything I could craft right now. Yeah, looks like it. Okay, so toss all this back. Uh, put this away. Put the axe away. Hold on to all these. Alright, back into the Twilight Forest. Now, notably, we only really have... Oh, we have some okay armor. We might be able to take on the Naga. I mean, we will be able to take out the Naga because we have the purplish cow pet who makes me basically immortal. 
I did it again! Alright, so to showcase, I am regenerating ridiculously fast because of my thing. To the point that this man couldn't even hurt me a little bit. Uh, nothing is inside that chest either, though. I'm definitely taking those ladders, by the way. It is weird that we have the Ender IO spawner stuff. Oh, cool, my knowledge of death has gone up. Uh, if I click here, I can get a perk. Oh, that's cool. Um, increases damage to and damage and lessens damage received. I think I just want the Cruise Magic Books Treasure Seeker. I think we just want this. I can't upgrade it again. It requires Knowledge of Death 3. We'll just hold off on that then. Ow. Still poisoned. Lots of tasties, including a bucket. Okay. That's not breaking. That is uh, incredible that I have a bucket. We also have what looks to be a little secret tunnel area down below. Eh. What we got cooking down here? Weather skull. That is massively huge. Uh, melon seeds, some cake. Uh, put that away. Take more of this. Holy crap. Uh, put that seed away. Take the steak. Uh, yeah, that's some amazing stuff. Nothing down there, it looks like. So we're just going to head on up. I can actually do the Illuminati pet now. Emmy Fluid Interface. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, I am going to... What's this? This is very clearly a structure. It's not one that I identify. You okay? Noted. That is a very interesting thing. Uh, let's also check real fast. See if Twilight you dropped slime balls, uh, tallow, and wool. Don't particularly need magenta. I forgot what that is. It's a food item. I know that much. Alright, so I'm gonna go walking around smacking things and hopefully we'll find whatever gives me the feather. Because I need one of those. Uh, ooh, squirrel? Might be too fast. Ah! Ha! Ah, it's not worth it. All right, Mr. Deer Man, I'm coming for you, and we need to see what you do. Get over here, boy. Meef stroking off. Is that the? Am I lagging? What a weird time to be lagging in a single-player world, huh? Fair enough. Well, well, well. How the turns have tabled. Mr. Elder Guardian Man. Ow. Ooh, I don't heal very fast. I heal fast enough. Ow. Okay. I see how this is gonna be. But, you should. Alright. Wild. Did not drop anything. That's upsetting. All right, I have, I have mining fatigue. Hmm, that's the ergast, isn't it? Yeah. I also found a lich castle, but I can't go in there until I killed it. No, buddy. 
I, I just need your feather. You didn't drop a single feather, did you? Mm. Alright, maybe it's a chance, right? Alright, problem. Anything can drop it. And I don't know what that anything is. Which is, you know, a lot of problem. Because without that information... I'll have some stuff, but it's not the stuff that I want. Violently not the stuff that I want. Oh, hey, look! <laughs> Raven feathers. Nice! Okay, so we have... Part of one? Charm Bell. Holds all the charm mods. Well, that's... Honestly, not a bad one. I I almost definitely thought I was about to die from fall damage there for a second. Well, I have the feather, but the problem is it doesn't help me make a map. What do I need for the map, by the way? Map. Uh, map. Blank magic map. Well, I ain't happening. Hmm. Well... Good news is I am still definitely immortal while having the purplicious cow pet. Downside is, don't have anywhere to go off of that. So, what do we need for the Eye of Ender again? That needs glass. Uh, pain. Okay. I see how this is gonna go. Luckily, once again, Immortal man. Right, I can't break stuff right now. I should probably leave. <laughs> Alright, we are back at home. And the main issue I've noticed with the whole Twilight Fortress is that if I don't have the map, I can't really go find the bosses. So, unless the map recipe just happens to be a recipe that I can do right now. Do I have Fuse Quartz right now? Clear glass... No. No, we do not. Okay. Alright, well, what about the next funny thing that I want to do stuff with? No. No, we cannot. Unfortunate. So, that being said, we're going to have to stop for today. So, if you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, a subscribe, and a comment down below. And I'll see y'all in the future where hopefully I remember to do something else. So, see ya, and love ya! Bye!